Hi everyone, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little vanity tour with you guys and also um, share some of my favorite shoes that I have in my collection. So yeah, we're all in quarantine so I did have some extra time so I managed to organize my vanity even though it's not 100% organized. So just let me show you how my vanity is organized right now hey guys so this is something that i just got so this organizer i bought it from shopee it is just an online platform like lazada it has sellers um posting their products there so i got this um turn style organizer thing and it's quite convenient actually and it's quite cheap it was like 40 ringgit so that's like about 8 to 10 US dollars so I have all my lipsticks on top I threw away quite a bit those that have expired you know which we should so some of my favorites are definitely um I like the Tom Ford ones because they're very creamy and I do like that you know his products have a bit of a caramel scent it's kind of like toffee almost so this is one of my favorite um shades this is called pink teas um as you can see right here It's a struggle right here so i've used it already but i got this uh, not too long ago maybe about a month ago or uh, two months actually so i like this a lot so this is where i keep most of the makeup that i use a lot so yeah and i have some stuff that i'm not sure why i still keep because i don't use the fresh stuff at all really and then i have the rms beauty face palette the RMS Beauty face palette right here that uh, I do quite like the highlighter blush and bronzer and then I have um, the one that I just got the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette right here which I think I will try to use often or I don't know it just looks nice on my vanity instead of inside the drawer and I have the VZ Art eyeshadow palette here and then some of the blushes that I think I'll be using more often Let's see uh, Everything is falling off. Okay, so I have the Burberry blush right here that I still like. It's I think it's Cameo, and this was actually um yeah it's Cameo number two. And this was actually recommended by Tati, one of my favorite beauty YouTubers. So it's quite a nice soft muted pink that I do like. Usually don't use the brush that comes with it. I will use my Real Techniques brush and then this Jill Stewart um, blush that I like. It's a bit peachier. And then um, what else I really like from here is oh yes, um, you know, I'll link it down below, but this is my latest like create like item that I really really love, the Pat McGrath concealer that I just demonstrated in another video. It's so creamy, so lightweight, it's really really pretty. Um, and you have to use it with this blurring under eye powder that goes with it. I got light, so it's kind of a translucent. So that's a lot of my um, you know usual lipstick blush up here. Then uh, here I have my skincare as well, and in the lower level, so to speak. So currently I'm using the Dr. Judd Ceramidin Cream Mist as a toner, and then I do have some samples. I'm just gonna finish this up the Sowasu. Uh, emotion which is a balancing range and then I'm loving my Peter Thomas Roth uh, moisturizer it's a bit of a thicker cream I've used quite a bit oops uh, I know that some people prefer a pump but because this cream is really quite thick I'm not sure how it's gonna work you know with a pump and then I have my Urban Decay makeup spray right here so the way I kind of organize is uh, are the taller bottles will be at the bottom because usually those are heavier I have some powders, um, Guerlain, the Strobe Cream and Urban Decay here and then just some like, oh yeah, just realized I haven't finished using my Laneige which is actually quite good by the way, surprisingly and then I still have my Saturday Skin Eye Cream right here and um, this is something that I quite like, the Super Goop SPF 50 sunscreen so I do use it because even though I'm working from home because uh, my desk where I was work from home is actually against a quite a big window I also wanted to have a little section on all my mist so as I mentioned earlier Indili is not working for me at all but I still have it here I'm still not sure what I'm going to do this is uh, one of my favorite mists right now 
and um, Urban Decay obviously is a setting spray. Um, I do not like Cora Organics No Only Glow Face Oil, but the um, Rose Mist is actually okay. It's Balancing Rose Mist is in a cute pink bottle. Uh, but to be honest, it's not uh, a repurchase. And then I still have my uh, Dr. Judd sleeping mask here. And I'm not sure why I have my Hourglass Foundation here. Oops. Oh my god. So foundation should actually go here with my primer from Too Faced, Dior Body, um, Dior Serum Foundation. I have a cheaper foundation here, which is from Etude House, the Korean brand. It's actually not bad. It's called Double Lasting Serum Foundation. So, but I would still say the Dior one still performs better, but it's okay actually for the price, of course. And now, um, I just wanted to share. I love these Guerlain uh, meteorites. I have the older ones too, but the very old ones I've already thrown away. Maybe I shouldn't have just kept, should have just kept it as an ornament. So this is very cute, and I like the scent uh, from Guerlain actually. Not everybody does, but I do like it. And um, yeah, another thing I want to show is also this Soasu um, first serum. So if my if I'm going through a sensitivity phase with my skin, I can't use it, but usually I can. And um, just another one of my favorite lipsticks, apart from Tom Ford, is the YSL uh, Baby Doll Kiss and Blush because you know this can be used as a cream blush as well. It's a um, doe foot applicator, as you can see right here. So um, it's a peachy set, uh, peachy shade, as you can see. And then um, I do like the Dior Maximizer, the gloss. Uh, it's not much in terms of color, even though it looks like quite opaque right here. But uh, yeah, it's quite nice on those days when you want a light lip. And um, yeah, I like, I do like the Chanel ink. Is it called ink something? Yeah, the Rouge Allure Ink um, Gloss. So this is very red, as you can see, very red. See, wow. It's quite nice off and on, but I don't really wear red lips all the time. So yeah, and Chanel again, I like this color. It is a peachy, orangey shade. Almost forgot that I have this. Yeah, and I got this from Clarence. This is actually uh, from Claiming My Rewards. It's a lip oil, so when I want to moisturize my lips, I use this. Yeah, it gets quite sunny, but it's quite pretty to look outside. And here I have this um, stranded lip glow right here. There's no space. And then here I just kind of use, I uh, bought this acrylic box from Muji. So I have my cotton buds and some cotton. And then here, as you can see, it is my brush holder it's a bit messy but um yeah i'm gonna get another larger container and then save all the sequins that i got from um the pat mcgrath stuff and use it so that you know the brush can actually stand up nicely instead of you know falling all over themselves so and then here are some of my um jewelry that i always wear you know i think it's getting a bit too crowded on here i need to organize it i love this bracelet a lot this is um kunzite so yeah, as some of you may know, I do love um, crystals for my meditation and also for, you know, just because I like them, they look pretty. And here's a little cloud hair clip that I got from Alessandra de Paris that my mom bought in Hong Kong. And here, this is one of my favorite necklaces. It's not expensive. I bought it um, from a local designer. Uh, she was the, in a flea market in this in this um, mall called Publica so I'll just list it down below every Saturday and Sunday and obviously not now you know before the MCO um, you, you find interesting items being sold and I do have a little drawer here uh oh it's kind of messy so I have like bigger items here like uh, my Anastasia eyeshadow palette that uh, I haven't really been using but I still like of course and then Too Faced chocolate bar that I've had since forever I don't know I don't feel like buying Too Faced palettes right now because it seems like I don't know they, I mean it's really cute and all but it's a bit childish I guess um, and then the cotton pads from Sephora that I'm dashing I really really like these and here are my attempts at being a little bit organized with box a um, MAC highlighter baby oil uh, baby oil I actually use it to 
uh, remove makeup sometimes and this is just a VCR box. I'm just keeping it because it has the shades, the names of the shades on the box. So in case, you know, I need to refer to them when I uh, do my makeup videos. Um, nothing really too interesting right here. Just some um, cushions that I need to buy the the um, refill for, the Dior Snow Bloom Perfect. It's actually not bad, but it is pretty uh, light coverage and there's just a lot of other stuff. Oh gosh, and I have some a lot of samples here. What is this? I think this is the Guerlain Primer. I should. I think I'm gonna use it. If it's good, then I'm gonna buy the the thing. Because velvet does attract dust. So um, this is my jewelry box. This is all. Oh my gosh, mostly costume jewelry. Just all really costume jewelry right here. I keep the real jewelry uh, somewhere else. You know, in a safer so that they go, don't get all mixed up but I have quite a lot of costume jewelry collected over the years um, yeah and more crystal so this is um, I think agate it's blue agate so it's supposed to have a calming effect I love to wear crystal earrings also because you know it keeps the vibration in your um, aura you know when you wear it on on your ears so uh, below that so this shelf I used to keep some of my favorite shoes as well as you can see, um, the first two pairs, Valentinos, uh, the rock studs. Shoes are really pretty and they're very suitable for work, although they are a bit high. So if you need to walk a lot or if you're commuting, maybe not only wear these when I'm driving to work. I got in South Coast Plaza in Orange County in the US. So quite a few years ago, it looks a bit dusty. I really need to wipe them off. And then here I have uh, Louboutins and um, my Valentino rock stud flats. I'll show you photos afterwards because really um, there's a lot of stuff to strap on when you wear these. And then here, actually, I really like this pair of shoes. This is um, Pedro Garcia shoes. It's quite ornate. I bought it from um, Barney's in New York. And then here, another pair of Louboutins, just the new ones that were very, very popular. So, yeah, this video is reminding me that I really need to remove I really need to um, wipe off stuff yeah and uh, so there's nothing much in my vanity area you know I've managed to minimize and throw away a lot of stuff that have been that have expired so here I have this um, drawing you always probably see it a lot in my videos um, this is actually done by my brother that's his um, handle on Instagram he likes to sketch animals so that's a that was a gift from him this little watercolor is from it's painted by myself so at that time I really liked the diorama so I decided to paint it and right here I have crystals on top of my vanity and by the way the vanity you can see the uneven painting is because I painted this vanity white it was actually dark brown before this I have more crystals on top and another painting by myself and yeah, so, so I hope you like that little vanity tour guys. It's not a lot of stuff because I've managed to pare down a lot of stuff which is great because it's getting a bit too cluttered. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little mini tour and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Somebody has a lot of toys.